putt. Goddamn, get it done, will ya? Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We run into New York. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you a common, common, common problem on the S85 engine and how to fix the idle. Now, as many of you guys know, once the engine comes up to temperature, um, you'll notice that your idle will be sitting quite over around 950 RPM. Now, some people say it's to warm up the cats. I do not believe that. Mine's just done it. Now, bear in mind, I've only just had the rod bearings changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset all the adaptions and make it fresh as new to drive. Um, perfect again now I did reset the adaptions before I took it into the garage to have the rod bearings done but I'm now going to reset them again and we're going to show you how to do that and I'm going to be using the Autel Max system to do that because um, it's not something you have to do use for ISTA and I want to be able to use the Max system a lot more than I have been um, on the videos so we're going to go out to the M5 and I'm going to show you how to reset the adaptions I know it's a common problem a lot of people look it up online how to solve the idols like when the car's warmed up the idol's sitting very high and it's keep the cats at temperature but when it's hot outside people don't understand why it does that and nobody does it's just a thing that even bmw state aided in doing with from the dme so we're gonna go out and reset the adaptions and it should bring it back to normal okay guys so here you have it we're in uh, maxcom system now we'll be linking this product below as you'll see here we've also got the uh, j2 j2534 programming device which can be used as a pass through for ista if you really wanted to as well which is basically like an icon we've got that all plugged up now this is the mk908 uh pro as you'll see there so we are going to go into diagnostics and i do have the all the latest updates on this as well we're going to go into bmw now what you're going to want to do is you can choose to read the vin or select the vehicle manually if you can't find the vehicle so what we're going to do, as you see there, it says Diagnostics Programming. So we're just going to do Automatic Selection. We're going to click down here to read the VIN. As you see there, there's the VIN of the car. We're going to click OK. Now we're going to click is Yes, because that's the correct one. Now it's going to establish the vehicle communication. So as you see here, guys, we're now going to go into Service. Then we're going to go into Powertrain, Engine Electronics, Adjustments and Adaptions, read and delete adaptions so what we're going to do is click on that one then we're going to go into here it's going to read the adaptions of the motor electronics and as you'll see it tells you that it should be shifted to p so you click continue now we're going to do delete adaptions now when we go to the delete adaptions we're going to click f2 now as you see here we've got quite a few adaptions on the um s85 you'll see here we've got up to nearly 11 adaptions that have to be cleared actually 12 on this so we need to clear each one successfully so what we're going to do is click f1 down here then we're going to click continue the adaptions were deleted we're going to click 2 continue continue click f3 continue continue f4 continue and continue f5 continue and continue now what a lot of people will do let me just stop right here is only clear the idle speed which is not what you want to do you want to clear them all to make the car run perfectly again now i last done this when i first got the car i haven't done it since i changed all out everything on here click f7 and click continue f8 and continue again f9 and continue and we're going to click f2 again after f10 then we're going to do f11 then continue, adaptions were deleted, F12, and then continue. Now, I just want to make you this clear. On this system, your adaptions will be different. Um, if you're doing this on an M52 or vice versa or another engine, you will not have the adaptions like this. You'll just have one to reset the adaptions and that's that. You won't have all this, but because this is the M5 and this is the same for the M3, you'll have it all like this. So you can pick and choose which ones you want to um, reset. Now, this is purely because there's too many things that you can change on here and you have to um, adjust it but based on what you change. So for instance, if you change anything to do with the idle, for instance, vacuums or air filters or vanos control units, you have to change that idle speed and reset it. Same for the excess air. If you've got a problem with the mass sensor and then you've changed it to recalibrate it. And the same with the knock control, if you replace the knock control sensor, it's very rare. Catalytic converters, if you replace them, the throttle valve is an idle actuator. That's something you want to do because it's a common problem on the M3 and the M5. So you want to make sure you reset them 
all the time when you come in here make sure you do that um, to learn new ones and then you can do um, fuel pressure control and obviously your oxygen sensor emission control now these are only from as of 09 2005 as you'll see here any before that wouldn't have that so that's the way you would reset the adaptions on the m5 now to reset obviously the gearbox adaptions i will be showing you that in another video but this is how you'd reset the engine adaptions if your idle is going quite high even when the engine's hot and it's not detecting the right um temperature for your cats and thinks that they need to keep them constantly warm while that traffic lights are well stopped Okay guys, so there you have it. I've just shown you now how to reset your adaptions on your S85. This also applies for the S65. Now please be aware that this does apply for the M52 as well. If you've got the Max system or ISTA, you can reset your adaptions, but it will not be the same. You will not get to pick and choose what you want to reset. You'll have to reset them all at one time. And this is for the diesels as well, any of the cars you actually specify. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching this BMW Dr. Dean here. The next video you're going to be seeing coming up is how to check your clutch for wear and tear on the S85 and the S65. Um, I'm going to show you how to clutch the clutch characteristics and how to check if it's worn or not worn against a new one um, I've got a, a di diagram showing you of how a new one would be after being fitted the characteristics and how old and how to work it up between the old and the new so you guys can check your clutch for wear and always check it now as you guys know the clutch lasts a long time on the S85 but it's still something I'm doing a video on so thank you very much for watching guys and goodbye